Hello everyone, my name is Paul Connell and I was one of the actors employed to play Willy Wonka at the Wonka's Chocolate Experience fiasco that happened uh, in Glasgow this weekend. Um, I'm going to be a little bit of fun at the event but I wanted to say before I start that I feel for anyone who got tickets to this event, um, people who are expecting a magical chocolate experience uh, and got me in a top hat in a day warehouse in Glasgow. Um, people who wanted Timothy Chalamet and got Timothy Charlatan. Um, but I am going to tell kind of my side of it as an actor who was employed at this event. So the first red flag for me was when I was cast as Willy Wonka. Um, anyone who looks at me and thinks Willy Wonka and not Umpa Lumpa is out of their mind. I give off major Umpa Lumpa energy. Um, but not like a good Umpa Lumpa, not like one of the, like, like one that's at the back during the dance numbers, like falling over like you're out at a line dancing class on holiday. Um, but I got cast as the part on the Thursday um, and was told that I needed to learn the script for the Friday. So I said, no problem, send it over. The script was 15 pages, monologue, pretty much of AI-generated gibberish, um, which I will read some for you if you want. In fact, no, I don't even need to read it, because I learnt it all, and it was, it was mad. I've learnt all of it, that's all in there, that's in my brain. Uh, so I'll give you one of the lines from the script. Uh, I'm not going to do the Willy Wonka voice, because I think I've embarrassed myself enough uh, over the last few days. Um, but one of my favourite lines was, There is a man who lives here. His name is not known. So we call him the unknown. The unknown is an evil chocolate maker who lives in the walls. What? <laughs> what, what is an evil chocolate maker for a start? Is it a, does he make evil chocolate? Or is he an evil man who makes chocolate? What do you mean he lives in the walls? So I had to perform that line with uh, with with gusto and, and, and validity, um, and that was that was a challenge as, as an actor. We were told on the uh, experience to hand out a jelly bean, one jelly bean uh, per child, uh, and a quarter of a cup of Tesco's own brand lemonade. That was what the children got. No, no chocolate. There was no chocolate to be had at this chocolate factory, which I really think they missed the trick, because if there's ever a, an event to sell chocolate, I'd say it was this one. But no, they went with um, a single jelly bean and a, and a quarter of a glass of lemonade. We then, um, look, we, we turned up as a group of actors um, in the morning on the Saturday and saw what this was. Um, you could say it was, a, it was a world of imagination in that you had to imagine it was not a dirty old warehouse. <laughs> but we walked around this place and saw um, just health and safety nightmare for a start. Um, we saw there was no special effects that was promised. There was a thing that was supposed to be called the Twilight Tunnel, which was supposed to be a tunnel that, um, like, like a, a tunnel that everyone walked through that was like dark. There was supposed to be stars like twinkling inside it and stuff like that, which I thought could have been quite cool. Um, what it was was um, a bunch of checkered flags uh, pinned to a wall with some mirrors that were that were found I don't know where, maybe, probably the toilets. Um, so that was that was a, a letdown. Anyway, we all got together as actors and we were like, look, it is unlikely that we're gonna get paid for this event. Um, however, they're gonna put this event on with or without us. Um, and children are gonna be coming through. Let's but let's just stick around, let's do our best to make sure that the children have some kind of um, experience. And, um, and all, the, all the actors who went in it were, 
you know, are very, very nice, um, lovely people. So we stuck around. We um, did our best with with what we had, which was which was very little. Um, repeatedly as well, like the script. Um, just to, to backtrack, the script had a moment where I was supposed to um, suck up the unknown with a giant uh, vacuum cleaner, and I asked about that, and the people uh, running the event were like, "We we don't know what to do with that. Just just improvise that." I can't. I can't improvise a vacuum cleaner. I, I either have you either have a vacuum cleaner or you don't have a vacuum cleaner. That's the two rules of, of having a vacuum cleaner. And we didn't have a vacuum cleaner, so I uh, made the creative decision to to cut that right out of the script. So I was I was told that I would um, every forty five minutes we get a fifteen minute break. Um, that that didn't happen. I I was playing Willy Wonka for for nearly four hours straight. Uh, it got to the point where I didn't know where I ended and Wonka began. Like we started to become one. Uh, I was just now just a crazy man in a old warehouse. But I was given a lunch break. I went on to my lunch break. Uh, I sat in my car to be honest and just stared into the void for a little while. Uh, and then when I came back in, that's when things had got a little bit out of control. Um, and rightfully so, people were furious, they were shouting, there was people filming things on their phone, uh, there, was, there was things being broken, things being stolen apparently. Um, I, I just walked into this after my lunch. Um, and was was told to hide, <laughs> which I was like, what has happened? Uh, so I was interviewed on the news um, yesterday, which I was more than happy to do because I thought, well, this will be an opportunity for me to kind of stick up for the group of actors who were also scammed by this event. Uh, in the interview, I talked about how we turned up, we'd, we'd worked out that we're probably not going to get paid for this event, but we'll, we'll, we'll stick around anyway, um, because we know that they're going to put it on without us. Kids are coming through, let's at least try and make something of a nice experience for the, the children and families who are coming through. Then I said on the interview, I, I feel like an idiot, to be honest. Um, I feel like I've, I've kind of been taken the mick out of. Uh, message all the actors was like, don't worry, I've, I've defended us on the news. Uh, the, the news edited that interview, and what happened was, um, last night at 6 o'clock, was the guy at the studio saying, OK, now let's speak to Paul Connell, one of the actors who was at the event. It cuts to me going, I feel like an idiot, to be honest, and back to the studio. So that was good. Um, I, I would like to finish this video by saying that I hope that the people who went there did get something out of it, um, other than one jelly bean and a quarter glass of uh, lemonade. Um, and I, I really hope that, that everyone gets the, the refunds that they deserve. Um, it was it was an absolute mess, um, and the fact that I was a part of it uh, is is one of the most embarrassing things that's ever happened to me. And anyone who knows me would know <laughs> uh, I've had a lot of uh, embarrassing stuff happen to me. All right, guys, uh, thank you very much. I'll I'll be around. Maybe, if I get desperate, you'll probably see me in a warehouse, um, uh, in, in a production of Alice in Wonderville, where I'm playing the, the mad the hat wearer, uh, and I'll be handing out half a biscuit and a quarter of a cup of tea to all the kids for the tea party. Thank you very much.